chapter description of ghusl ritual bath and the things which make it obligatory the things after which one must make ghusl are the following one al janaba i.e major ritual impurity which requires ghusl which is a ejaculation of semen during sexual intercourse or something else b the two circumcised parts coming into contact the male and female front private part two emission of al hayd menstruation or nifas postnatal blood three death except for a martyr Four, when a disbeliever enters Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in the meaning of which, if you are in a state of janaba, major ritual impurity, then purify yourselves. He also says, in the meaning of which, and do not approach them until they are pure. And when they have purified themselves, approach them from where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded you. Meaning, after they have performed ghusl. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam commanded that ghusl must be performed after one washes the deceased. He also commanded it for the one who enters Islam. As for the manner in which the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa performed ghusl after Janaba, then it is the following. One, he would first wash his private part. Two, then he would perform a complete wudu. Three, then he would pour water on his head, three times rubbing it with it. Four, then he would pour water over his entire body. Five, finally he would wash his feet at another place. The obligatory parts of ghusl are 1. Washing the entire body 2. Including what is under both the thin and the thick hair Allah knows best